New developments tonight, days after Tuesday's wild scuffle broke out at Yukon. Catherine Gregory is now the target of a death threat. She's the woman accused of snatching the speech from that controversial conservative commentator. Also tonight, a lingering uh, out outrage there from some Yukon students. They are blasting school administrators and they're calling for changes. News 18 to detail has more on that part of the story. A march for action after a controversial speaker comes to the Yukon campus. This video shows a woman who is not a student taking the written speech of Lucian Wintrich, who then went after her to get it back Tuesday night. It's really just a, like a string of different slurs, insults, uh, challenging, inciting violence uh, kind of statements. There should be adequate space for people to also utilize their First Amendment rights to be able to counter protest against it. A group of Yukon students is calling on the university to revive policies when it comes to so-called hate speech, which they do acknowledge is free speech. There needs to be some type of policy reform to where the university doesn't only protect themselves with a barricade of 20 police officers just in case it gets violent and instead shuts it down just like UMass did, just like Harvard has done. You know, isn't it difficult though for the university to censor you know, someone coming to campus if it's free speech, even if it's something you don't necessarily want to hear? Absolutely. It's, it's, you never know. You, ha you have no control over what someone's going to say. However, these types of events, because um, it was booked through a student organization, it has to get approved. We did get a written statement from a spokesperson for UConn, which said the university encourages its students to exercise their free speech rights, as they did today. The statement goes on to say we look forward to more discussion about ways to work together in the spirit of mutual respect to achieve our common goals. News 8 also reached out to the college Republicans at UConn who have said they believe it is their constitutional right to invite Mr. Wintrich to campus. In stores, Tina Detell, News 8.